I've spoken elsewhere about how charities are tied into special events, like foot races and festivals or dances and concerts, the ice bucket challenge for ALS, something like that, to raise money, and that's necessary because nobody really gives a damn about any of the various charities until they or someone they love is directly affected, and then it's too late. They don't have any money to contribute to the charity because the cost of health care is so steep and it sucked away all of their savings. Anyway, I heard about one of these on the radio, and it was such a sterling example that I want to mention it here, both as an instance of this phenomenon and also another of those pivotal moments that prove reality is the best fiction. You could not make this up. They were holding a Mardi Gras celebration with lots of beverages and gourmet food, all to benefit homeless children, and the main sponsor of the event was Mercedes-Benz of Fort Thomas. I can see them giving homeless children a free ride in a Mercedes-Benz and then dropping them off at a tent where they're serving beverages and gourmet food. They wouldn't want the homeless children eating or drinking in one of those cars. Generosity only goes so far. That's got nothing to do with what I want to talk about, but I thought it was funny, especially because the people announcing it on the radio several times an hour didn't think it was funny, or even slightly odd at all. But then, they were being paid to make the announcement, and it would not be appropriate to them to say, what a hoot this is, Mercedes-Benz sponsoring a Mardi Gras benefit for homeless children. Back to my subject. In one of these a while back, I mentioned Louis Black, who began as a political commentator, but he rather rapidly morphed into a stand-up comedian because his political comments got so many laughs, and I said that I thought Louis Black, when he went off the way he does, was an awful lot like Howard Beale, so much so that I thought Howard Beale did not die, they faked that, and Louis Black really is Howard Beale, the first live human ever to become the reincarnation of a fictional character, yet another example of the superiority of reality when it comes to dark humor. Speaking of Howard Beale reminded me of Patty Chayefsky, and I'd like to say something about him and Marty and the hospital and network because he had such a fierce and righteous sense of humor, but I don't really have much to say beyond that, which is why I padded this out with all that shit about the fundraising for homeless children. But it's fitting in a way. I think Patty would have gotten a kick, or at least a sigh, out of that company. If for nothing else, Chayefsky will be remembered for this, Howard Beale's anthem. I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. He thought that the great challenge of the future was going to be the survival of the individual, that all the considerable forces of society were working against the development of individuality. It would eventually be crushed, smothered, eradicated. Everyone would think they were different, but we'd all be the same, a huge amorphous mass, undifferentiated, a world of tweedledums. There are a lot of videos on the internet that feature a wide variety of people known as Wall Martians, a name guaranteed to bring a smile to your face. Wall Martians. These videos are meant to be funny in a dark way, I think. Human beings who have somehow transformed or degenerated into a new race or species known as the Wall Martians, creatures caught in the act of shopping at Walmart. Here's what individuality has come to. I watch these videos, maybe you have too, they've got millions of hits, and I find them funny and also sad, and sometimes a little shocking, almost unbelievable, and I wonder what Patty Chayefsky would have thought about them. Would he, would he have laughed at these wall martians as a new race of life forms, or laughed to see the last vestige of human dignity, honor, integrity, and even the faintest whiff of what we might have once called a soul, our individual portion of the Creator, snuffed out. Maybe someone should organize an event to raise money for the Wall Martians. I'd ask Mercedes-Benz, but I just heard they had a massive recall, so maybe they could use a fundraiser of their own. Maybe the homeless children could help them out. 